Well, it is mushroom season here in the Midwest, and I just wanted to kind of show you a couple of recipes that we do with these mushrooms. Um, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off the base there. Some of that still has the, the root and the dirt. We're gonna save those. I'll tell you more about that later. And then we kind of just split these in half and we put them in some salt water. We're gonna let them soak. I'm gonna do the rest of these right now. And right now uh, we're gonna show you how we find these mushrooms. I think we have a secret, a little secret to finding these mushrooms that we wanna share with you. So let's check that out right now. So I've never been super great at finding mushrooms and I'll never forget, um, it wasn't until I had my oldest son Skylar with me and my dad and my oldest son Skylar and we're walking, we're looking for mushrooms and I hear my dad say, you know Skylar, the secret to finding mushrooms and my ears perked up, I'm like, wait a minute, there's a, there's a secret? Because I've never been great at it. and. Uh, so I'm like listening. He's like, the secret is a lot of people just look on the ground. But the secret is you got to look up. You look up and you find the tops of a dead tree and that's where you walk towards and you just look on the ground after you've looked up. And I just thought, man, I could have, that would have been really helpful to know. And so that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to just show you uh, real quick how we're going to find some mushrooms. We're going to look up, we're going to find uh, some some dead trees, the tops of dead trees. We're gonna walk towards them and see if see if it works. So here we go. I don't know if you can see it or not, but if I'm looking, so I haven't even started looking on the ground yet. But I see a dead tree back there, a dead elm tree, and that's the way I'm gonna walk. And we're just gonna kind of look on the ground, going from there. If we don't find any, we look again. We find the next dead tree, and we look on the ground going that way. So let's see if it works. You guys want to come? Come join us. So here we are right underneath a dead tree and Evan found the first one right here. I don't know if you can see that. You see that right there? See it? That's what we're looking for. You only need about a dozen of those to make a good mess. But that is really tough to find if you're just going to scour the forest floor. And when you can find the dead tree and just start walking to that and then look around that, that's what you find. Let's see if we can find some more. So here's how this kind of works. Another dead tree. Evan found this one right back there. And a lot of times what we'll do is before we just go pick it, we'll mark it and just kind of look around that area. And as we're looking at that one, there's one here and there's even one beyond it. So we'll just kind of look around all this area and make sure we've got that one. And we've got all this area you cover and then we move on to the next. So I've heard some people say that if you break off and leave the bottom end in the soil, that it helps for the next year's growth. And I don't know if that's true. I've found these morels to be a mystery. You'll find 20 of them in one spot one year, and you can leave all the roots you want, and they're not there the next. And uh, so, I don't know, maybe you guys probably know more than I do. You can leave a note in the comments about how you do it, but we'll kind of do half and half. It's a pretty good mess right there. I think we call it a day. Yeah. 
go fry these up. Okay, so now you know the secret. You've got to look up first in order to find the treasure. So we've got everything cut and in salt water. And then what I do is I take all of the, the crumbs and the, the roots there that I've cut off and I actually put them right back in the bag that we carried them in. Cause, and I don't know if this works or not, but what I'm gonna do, basically this gets dumped back out in the forest and all of the pores. Uh, we're just trying to create more mushrooms for next year. So we'll put off that to the side. Don't know if it works, like I said, Morel mushrooms are a mystery. All right, so these have been soaking for a while. We're gonna let those continue to soak. The first recipe I wanna show you is just the old fashioned pour Kramer way. And it's basically just an egg, some saltines, and some butter. I'm gonna show you that way first. Just a couple of eggs and a little bit of milk. those saltines in there. Crush them up. Take one, you're just gonna put it in the egg. If you can see that, okay. Drain that. Put it right in there. Do a couple more. And again, this is the this is the old-fashioned way. This is the way my dad and his dad would do it when they were living in Orange Township, Knox County. First one going in the butter. There we go. Okay, while we're frying those up, I'm gonna show you my favorite way, and it is super easy. It's still gonna have the egg and the milk, a half cup of flour, and then I like this Louisiana fish fry seasoning, and you can get this just about anywhere. Take a half cup of that, because it's got a little bit of kick to it. So there we go. We'll mix that up. And same thing, throw those in there. Zip it up and shake it up. Throw those in. Shake them off real good. Throw it in. And these are an amazing little treat. Oh, so good. I can smell it. Amazing. And I love the, uh, look at that. Those are cooking fast. And I love kind of the, the spiritual word picture of looking up in order to find the treasure. I think we all have a tendency, especially during these times, to kind of be, I don't know, eyes down, focused on our own problems, focused on our own issues, you know, trying so hard to just find the little, the little gem of, of truth or prove our point. And, I think at the end of the day, we all just need to be looking up. Focused on Jesus. Keeping our eyes on Him through this time. And the day will come where we'll be able to look back and say, oh, 
that's what I learned or that's what was valuable or that was the value of that season. But right now, I mean, we don't have to have all the answers. We just got to keep our eyes up, stay focused and stay focused on Jesus. I'm going to recruit Evan. We're going to let him do a little taste test. All right, so you can see we've made a pretty big mess. I'm on the last little batch here. Evan, I'm going to have you do a taste test. Grandpa's versus mine. Which recipe do you prefer? Go ahead and take a bite. Okay. It's really good. Okay. This is his. I'm gonna have to say this is better because it's more flavor. More flavor? Mm hmm. You and like it? Taste the seasoning. They're more. Good. Now, the cost of those mushrooms is you cleaning all this up. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> So that's how you do it. The secret to finding mushrooms, the secret to cooking incredibly delicious mushrooms, um, and also the secret to life. We look up, we keep our eyes on Jesus through this season, and we let him take care of the rest, and he's gonna bring good things into our life. I gotta taste one of these. I got my, these are the hors d'oeuvres before I get the ribs off of the, off of the smoker. I'm gonna invite the family down here in just a little bit, and these will be gone in no time. So this might be the only one that I get. Mmm. It's so good. Wow. Mmm. I love living in the Midwest. Delicious.